reflection and the mirror's reflection I'm a-dancing on with myself I when there's no one else inside I in the crowd and lonely night Well, I wait so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing on with myself Okay, the PSP. And I must just say, even though it's a uh, playing console and there's a lot of smudges on it, my little brother has this, had this for a long time. It's black. Note the uh, buttons select, start, music note, now for the volume, screen to make a brighter volume, go to the home page. Here we have the X, square, circle, triangle buttons. And over here we have the directional pad buttons. And over here we have the analog stick. That's one of my gripes. The analog stick could have been a little bigger. I don't know. This this little circle right here just moving about. It, it kind of bothers me. But then again, if it, it had this sticking out, it would have... Um, oh, hey, there's my camera. <laughs> um, it would have broken off. And I have seen some things that you could put this on and make it bigger. But I have no idea how. On top we have a silver lining. <laughs> Every bad thing has a silver lining. And we have the USB plug in there. And we have the air, uh, all air, R and L buttons, which are clear. You cannot see them. Although at the uh, at the bottom are white and has the letters on it. That way you can recognize. We have a touch of yellow here for the um, charger plug in, so you can charge your PSP. Turn it to the back, it's still black, and we have the PSP logo with the circle on top. And this is where you the uh, UMD discs. UMD UMD discs. And we have the Sony logo. Power hold. Pretty much the PSP. The buttons are really comfortable to press. Hey, there I am. And yeah. I'm gonna show you what a UMD disc looks like. Oh, the back. This is a UMD disc. This is the Transformers video game. I was expecting the discs to be alone, but they come with this case, and you slip it in on the back. See? You slip it in. Let's see if I can remember how. Where's the arrow? That was an arrow on this thing. There you go. Wait, is that the way you put it? Yeah, there you go. Bam. Before I turn it on, I also want to show you another thing. Oh, wait, I was on the side. This is the memory card that comes that you need. My little brother says green, but it's a memory pro stick duo. This is what you need in order to save your stuff. Put it back on. In there. Now I'm going to turn it on to show you the main menu. My little brother has the Transformers wallpaper in the back we have settings photo you, you can access the camera if we had one or photos from your memory card music from your memory card video from your memory card and play a game UMD and then the transformers pops out because that's the game that's inside it and we have other type of settings such as save game files and then you have the online uh, internet browser and all that kind of stuff and the settings I try to get internet, but there's nowhere around that I could get any. And we have the time over there. So the main menu to access different type of stuff is pretty neat. You know, it makes it seem like some sort of com handheld computer. That is probably why the PSP makes it such a good video gaming console. That's my opinion. Okay, so now it's time to grade this sucker. I'm going to start off by saying that the PSP is a really good system. Although, it's not exactly a system, it's a handheld. But it's one of the better, I would say, next gen from the past years. You know. Okay, pros. Good, f nice feel to it. Feels like you're playing a controller and then playing a PS2 at the same time. 
good graphics. The graphics for a handheld, they're amazing. They're almost the same as the PS, PS2. Not, not a PS2 though. Um, what's another pro? Oh, multifunctional. Not only can you play games, but you could also play music, play videos. I wouldn't say play pictures, but show pictures as well. And go on the internet. That's amazing. The multifunctional feature goes beyond. I consider it a pro, but you could customize your own wallpaper. I thought that was kind of neat. And that's pretty much it. Cons. This analog stick. I don't know. I just don't like it. it. Sometimes I slip and I don't even hit the analog stick at all. And I end up dying. Okay. And what else? Uh, sometimes the video game video game's story mode is a bit limited. Since it's a PSP and it can't handle that much memory or RAM or whatever. Um... The story modes get a little shortened than possibly the console versions for that game. And I think that's a... Oh yeah, that's another con. Uh, it doesn't come with the memory card. If it came with the memory card, it would have been so much better. And cost us a lot less. We have to pay like an extra 40 bucks for a memory card. But other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. Uh, I will give this a rating of a 9.1, which is an A-. minus. So, don't get a PSP, get it. It's the holiday season, possibly get it for Christmas as an excellent Christmas gift. That's pretty much all I gotta say. This has been a Black Spider David video review. See ya.